Hello, welcome to Somerset News Network. If you've watched my other two videos, I've talked about the right of free speech. Voltaire said, I may disagree with you, but I'll fight to the death your right to say it. Now, in some cases, when I think people are being absolutely stupid and I haven't got a clue, I quote Oscar Wilde. He edited that statement and said, I may disagree with you, but I'll fight to the death. Your right to make an ass of yourself, which sometimes is quite apt when you talk to these um, far left agitator communist type people. Now, everybody has the right of free speech. Even if I disagree with them, they must be allowed to say it. But also, on my side, we also must be able to have free speech and debate which is written into law under article 9 of the bill of rights it's ever so simple oh they say it's only for mps and proceedings in parliament it says that the freedom of speech and debate or proceedings in parliament or not to be questioned outside of Parliament. That is why when a question of free speech comes up and it's linked to the newspapers, they go to the High Court. The High Court is the Law Lords, which would have met in the House of Lords. So they've taken over that role from the House of Lords. Because it's still the Law Lords. Now you can't have a rule for MPs and oh yeah 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 uh, the press got free speech as well if it's not for everybody we all have the right of free speech we haven't got the lawyers and the money to fight it but the government should be upholding they take an oath they take an oath to uphold our laws and traditions. So Starmer shouldn't be trying to stifle free speech. He should be promoting it. There's a lot said about it being far right because some people disagree with immigration. Illegal immigration, I should say. They're now talking about hate crimes online. Misinformation online. Well, this video is being brought to you under the right of an Act of Parliament. The right of Article 9 of the Bill of Rights. The right of free speech and debate. I'm trying to put my ideas forward. You, you might disagree with them. But if it's an act of parliament and it's in black and white, it's the law. And to back this up, there's an act of parliament that says, the laws of England are the birthright of the people. So I would argue that the right of free speech and debate is my birthright. The law says it. But Starmer and his crowd don't want you to talk about that. They want to stifle debate. It's becoming a dictatorship. You know, years ago when I was at school, I read 1984. And the police have become the thought police. If you say something wrong online, you're, they're, they're at your door. It's happened to me. I made a comment on Facebook. The comment was factual and true. 
and I had a four month police investigation. I said I haven't said anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. It turns out that it was a witch hunt. I believe it to be a guy who does not like me. He reported me to the police. Well, he reported me to the police using a sock puppet. Now, what it is, is, is I run a local Facebook group for the village. We've got 10,000 members. And we were having all sorts of hassle and trouble. And I couldn't figure out why, why they were all having a go at me. What I believe is there was a group of sock puppets of one man. After the fight was over, and I, I deleted two of them because they were just being really nasty. You know, I don't like nasty people. So I removed them off the forum. There was a post put up. I made a comment. And this lady said, look what he's like. I'm going to the police. I later found out that this lady is a flop sock puppet of the guy that doesn't like me. So it's him saying it. Anyway, that triggered the four-month police investigation. The police said to me, oh, we can't do it because it was anonymous. Well, why did they do it in the first place? And then when they came to sign off on it and say no further action, they said, oh, we've spoken to the people. That means there's more than one. And they've accepted your apology. All I had to do was say, I didn't mean to offend. Well, I didn't mean to offend. I made a factual comment. It wasn't me meant to offend anybody. So we now have the thought police in the UK. It is 1984. And they're going to come after Farage. They've already put Tommy Robinson in prison. That's why my videos are now made under the freedom of speech and debate of Article 9 of the Bill of Rights.